Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I wanna to share with you some tips and tricks on how to get the longest base life from your cut peony flowers and also how to store them for later use. Maybe you wanna harvest a bunch now and then put them in dry storage and bring them out in about a month. I wanted to just walk you through a bunch of different situations when it comes to harvesting peonies. But you know, I think I would be remiss if I didn't just go right back to the beginning and talk a little bit about planting peonies because when people call the extension office about peonies the number one question they say or comment that they make is that their peonies just aren't blooming and they're not sure why and it's probably because they're either not planted in full sun but more than likely the peony was planted too deeply a peony should be planted two inches below the ground so when you receive a peony root you'll see that it has active eyes on the root itself and there's should be no more than two inches of soil above that eye in order to get great growth from the peony but more importantly get great flower production and peony roots can be planted in zones three through eight in the fall or very early spring and like i say you really want an area that's full sun well draining soil and don't bury those eyes more than two inches below the ground and then you'll have a great crop of flowers in the years to come and speaking of the years to come, let's talk about what you can expect from a peony plant those first few years. Now, a fall planted peony may flower one or two flowers, depending on the amount of eyes that first spring. Whereas a spring planted peony, it will probably not flower at all. It will probably just put up foliage for you. Now there's some differing schools of thought on what should be done with a peony that's two years old. Some people feel that the entire plant should be disputted. Other growers will say that you should leave one bloom on the plant to let it bloom so you can make sure the variety you purchased is what you actually got. And some people say year two is a good time to make a shortcut on the plant and just practice harvesting that specific variety. Now, whatever school of thought you subscribe to, I think we can all agree that not too much, if any, harvesting should be done on a peony that's two years old. Now, by the time a peony is three years old, that's when you'll really start to see it begin to flower and you can start to harvest some from that plant. And by year four, five, and henceforth, that's when harvesting really kicks in to full year. So I did most of my harvesting this morning, but I left a few buds on this plant that are ready for harvest so we could pick one together. So basically what I'm looking for is a peony that's not open. You always wanna pick your peonies in bud stage and what's often referred to as as marshmallow stage. So if you give the bud a squeeze, it feels like a stale marshmallow. I've also noticed, although I don't normally see this mentioned anywhere, that the sepals will kind of have a little bit of an air bubble or almost start to have a separated from the bloom itself at that same time. So that's another thing to look for. Now in contrast to this one that's ready in marshmallow stage, this one is really hard like a marble and also the sepals are closed. Actually these two sepals are still touching each other around the bloom head. If I were to pick this flower here, it likely would never open for me in the base. It would just kind of sit there and look like this. So I'm looking for marshmallow stage. Sepals have pushed down and also started to open just a bit. And when I'm cutting, I only I want to take the length of stem that I need, whether it be for my florist, a wholesaler, or for the arrangement that I'm working on. I like to cut mine about 18 inches long, and I know that from my elbow to the tip of my finger is 15 inches, so I kind of just use that as a guide. So I put my elbow here at the bloom head, my snips down a little bit further for 18 inches, make my cut. I'm going to remove these lower leaves. Here I have a beautiful peony flower in marshmallow stage that's ready to go in my cooler. And here's a closer look at a peony that's in the perfect stage for harvest. I squish it, feels like a stale marshmallow. You can see there what I was talking about, the sepals have kind of started to pull away from the bloom itself. So I can successfully hold this in water in my cooler set to 35, 34 degrees Fahrenheit for one week. But if I wanted to store my peonies for longer than one week, say three to four weeks, I would wanna store them dry. So let's go over how to do that next. 
Now when you're dry storing any flower, whether it be a tulips, peony, iris, anything that you're going to hold dry in the cooler, it's absolutely vital that the entire plant is dry. The blooms are dry, the foliage is dry, the stems are dry, and if that's the case, then they're ready to go into dry storage. So I just use tissue paper for this, but I know some people like to use butcher paper, some people like to use newspaper. I just have an abundance of tissue, so I just stick bunches of 10 into my paper and then I just roll them up and what I do next is put them either in bulb crates if I have bulb crates available or my supplier has actually started to ship my bulbs in cardboard boxes with holes on them so it's almost in a sense the look of a bulb crate because it has that airflow through it but it's cardboard so I use either that cardboard box or a bulb crate and I just stack them like this and then I alternate the heads. So at first I'll put some peonies in like this and then next I'll stack them the opposite way so that all the heads aren't lined up together. And then I'll just put them in my cooler which is just a refrigerator that's temperature controlled. Once again, 34 to 35 degrees Fahrenheit and you can store them dry like that for three to four weeks. And then whenever you wanna take your peonies out of storage, all you have to do to rehydrate them is just take out however many you want for either that event or that party or for selling keep the paper on to rehydrate them cut off about an inch from the base of each stem stick them into water about an inch or two of water in a room temperature area. And after just a few hours, you'll see that they're rehydrated. The stems will be nice and strong once again. And at that point, it's safe to take off the paper wrapping. The paper wrapping for any dry stored flower just kind of helps it stay upright as it kind of recuperates and rehydrates there in the bucket for you. Once they're rehydrated, remove the paper. You can either at that point sell them, design with them, or if you need to go back to holding them for just a few more days, you can just keep them in water and back into your cooler they go. And then just one more thing to mention is how long it takes a peony to go from marshmallow stage to fully open. So if I put this peony into water, into a room temperature environment with an ambient room temperature, 68 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, I expect it to be fully open looking just like this in 24 to 48 hours. Of course, it depends a bit on the room temperature, the temperature of the water and the stage of harvest, but just generally speaking it's about one to two days in just a normal home environment to go from marshmallow stage to the fully open peony that we all know and love from the garden well i really hope this video on how to harvest peonies was helpful let me know if you have any questions comments if you do things a little bit differently than i do and if you've had success with other methods i'd love to hear all about that i have to get these ones in bud stage into my cooler so i want to wish you a great day and i'll see you sometime soon bye